you decided what you want to wear yet, lovey? Don't care. Well, have I earned a nice clean shirt for you, and uh, there's a tie of your Uncle Peter's you could wear. Or your school tie, if you prefer. Hate ties. Oh, it's not obligatory. No, no, of course it isn't. I didn't realise you could play games on the phone. What will you think of next, eh? Mum bought it for me so I could text my mates. Or if I needed to call her at work. Well, that sounds very sensible. Oh dear, there's brass monkeys out there this morning. That time you were getting changed in it, kiddo. Don't have to wear a tie. Well, no, but when you go to a funeral, you dress up smart because it's, uh, well, it's like a mark of respect, I suppose. He just seems to have switched off. Do you think he's going to be all right? Are you going to be all right? I don't know. I never thought I'd be burying my own daughter. So, just round the corner. Poor little knight. He doesn't seem to know what's going on. He was in the car when it all happened, wasn't he? He were knocked unconscious, which I suppose is a blessing. Oh, it's a terrible trauma for any child. No wonder he's so withdrawn. How's Ken bearing up? Ken's being Ken. Oh, it's hard to conceive what it must be like losing a child, even when they're grown up. Right. Cars are here. Oh. Right, well, I really do appreciate you coming. Adam, Thank you. No trouble at all. Hold on, mate. Here, I'll keep that in my pocket for you, shall I? Right then. Susan Barlow was taken from us in the midst of life and as a result of a tragic accident. We mourn her loss just as we mourn the loss of her mother, Valerie, taken from us too at a young age many years ago. The question that must be on all our minds today is why? Why did such a tragedy happen? The death of a young person always feels particularly cruel. Believe it. Susan was, as you know, highly successful. How dare he show his face? In her chosen profession, her accountancy. Ken, just ignore him. She was also a mother. I'm going to ask him to leave. A daughter. Don't. You'll upset Adam. And a sister, beloved by friends and family alike. And so we come together today in Christian brotherhood to remember her and to give thanks for her life. O oh, holy and most merciful Saviour, deliver us from the bitter pain of eternal death. Lord, you know the secrets of our hearts. Hear our prayer, O oh God most mighty. Spare us, most worthy judge eternal. At our last hour, let us not fall from you, O oh, holy, merciful Saviour. We have entrusted Susan to God's mercy. We now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Let go! It's okay, it's okay. Come on, you let go! Don't be frightened, Adam. I'm your father. Glorious body. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Don't you worry, son. Come on, mate. It's okay. You're satisfied now. At least the boy knows the truth. Only part of it. More than you were going to tell him. Oh, I intend to tell him everything. I'm going to make sure he knows exactly the kind of man you are and what you did to his mother. Don't you threaten me, Barlow. Mike Lee. Threaten you? You're lucky I don't beat you to a pulp. Oh, you fancy your chances? Come on in. Come on. Stop it, both of you. Remember where you are. Come on, Mike, we're going. Yeah, get him out of here before I teach him a lesson he won't forget. You what? Mike, he's not worth it. You're right. It's not even worth the dirt on my shoes. You tell that boy he's got a father that loves him. I won't be shut out of his life by this loser or anybody else. We'll see about that. Well, I've never 
never seen anything like it. Not at a funeral. That Mike Baldwin has a lot to answer for. But is it true what he said? Is, is he really Adam's father? All I can tell you is that Susan went all the way to Scotland to escape his clutches. So I reckon she had good reason. Here, Dad. Get that down here. Yeah. Make you feel better. How could he just yeah. turn up and try to hijack Susan's funeral? Well, he's never been a bloke to respect anybody else's feelings, has he? Yeah. Should have just told him to leave straight away. Oh, how is he? Is he OK? I've just given him a hot drink. I think it's all just very confusing and upsetting for the poor lad. Yeah. Ten times worse now. I've ordered and stuck it all in. What are we going to say to him now? Adam's not stupid by any means, Ken. I think you should just tell him the truth. No, th that is not what Susan wanted. The lad's got a right to know who his father is. Yeah, next you'll be saying his father's got rights too. No, she won't. We've just buried my sister today. Yeah, and you're not the only one who's upset, Peter. I'm beginning to think I'm the only one that really cares, though. He's just drunk too much, taking a notice. Um, we're off again. Oh, Ken. <laughs> Ken, I just want to say how sorry I am. Well, thank you, Rita, and thanks for coming. Yeah. Life can seem very cruel at times. You're not wrong, Dad. Bye. Bye. Oh, hello, love. <coughs> Do you want another drink? What is it, Evan? That man you rode with. The one who grabbed me. He came to our house to see my mum. Yes, I know. It's true, isn't it? What he said. Oh, Adam. It's all very, very complicated. We'll have a proper talk about it later, okay?